everybody, Matt Lumania here, and welcome back to Vox Diamond. Yes, I'm home. Um, yep, yeah, welcome back to Vox Diamond. Um, finally got, I'm slowly getting everything loaded up on my computer, and, um, it's taken a little while, and of course I've been sick, and then my husband had to go to the emergency room, so it's been pretty chaotic here, as per usual. Um, so I'm in the process of just trying to, you know, get stuff going, and a um, couple of friends have been keeping me updated, and they're just absolutely wonderful. Uh, Jedi Jane has been uh, keeping me apprised of what's going on, and uh, she's such a good and loyal friend, and I do appreciate that. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, you guys will probably see this uh, Friday, but I'm recording it Thursday. Um, it's, uh, JJ's, uh, J Jedi Jane's birthday, and I hope she don't mind me telling everybody, but, uh, happy birthday to Jedi, and, uh, just wanted to thank you for being a, a wonderful, warm, loyal friend, and since we are on, uh, Mountain Dew Mania's Redneck Rants, and we are on the letter L, guess what we're going to talk about today? L is for loyalty. That's right. That's the new one. And let me give you the handy dandy definition from the handy dandy dictionary. Um, the it is the faithful adherence to a sovereign government leader cause, um, etc. Um, commitments, obligations, people. It's it's basically uh, when you make a promise to these this whatever person place thing um no amount of any any kind of force can get you to swerve from your dedication to them okay that's loyalty in a nutshell um it's sometimes it's hard to be loyal uh because we catch somebody in a lie we catch a here's a shocker we catch government officials at lies, um, and we just, it's, you lose faith. You lose faith in that person. Um, you lose faith in what they promised. Um, how can you trust somebody again when everything they say is a lie? You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's part of trust and loyalty and you know all that stuff goes into kind of a big basket you know and we um, we get hurt we get hurt when somebody ruins oh come on lag <laughs> um, we get hurt when somebody ruins that level of trust that we had so we find it very hard um, to be loyal Richard E. Grant said I place an enormous premium on loyalty if someone betrays me I can forgive them rationally but emotionally I have found it impossible to do so um, I, I totally agree with that um, once you lose something, it's very, very hard. Uh, yeah, there's there's some lagging. They must be working on the server. Um, it's very hard to get that back, just like it is trust. Um, that, to me, you know, they, trust and loyalty go hand in hand. They are practically, you know, twin brothers and sisters. Um, it's just, you know, and... People say, well, you know, I mean, let's see how close we can get to the kitty. Hello, kitty. Um, people say that, oh, no, no they, they didn't mean it. I, you know, I still, I'm still loyal to them. I still trust them. If, you know, that I personally, I find that a hard thing to do. Once you have broken uh, the trust that I had in you or loyalty, I have an extremely hard time giving it back. Um, in fact, it's, 
uh, I can think of one time it's happened, and I and then they ended up screwing me over again, and that pretty much did it for me. Um, I have no. Um, I'm gonna have to go all the way up there and get that down. Um, I have no use for that person anymore. Um, no shape, form at all. It just no. <laughs> um, but there are people that if you want the truth they sell their loyalty and honestly there is something wrong with your character if opportunity controls your loyalty if you're loyal to somebody just because it's going to get you ahead that doesn't really say that much for you uh, to be honest okay um people talk about being loyal to family now in the south that is a I mean, oh my God! Uh, go and read. I mean, you know, it's kind of a weird cliche, but go read the the real story behind the Hatfields and the McCoys. Okay, um, people, families die for uh, literally. Okay, um, when you are loyal to your family, I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't matter if who. Or what? I mean, and I, that goes... But see, here's the thing. Blood makes you related. Okay? Loyalty makes you family. Alright? There are... I, I can't think of a handful of my relatives that I'm loyal to. Loyalty and family, that's just my opinion now. We all know. Okay? Uh, this is my personal rant. Uh, it means absolutely nothing to nobody except in my universe. I have more friends that I'm loyal to than I do family. Um, and th those people, th those people that are not blood related to me, um, yeah, I'm very loyal to them. They are my family. So, and this quote I found online: "If they stood by you during the bad times um, and were loyal to you, they deserve to be there during the good times." Absolutely. It's, I mean, people that only show up when you're having the good times in your life and everything's going okay, and they get to share in it, but when you turn around and it's bleak and dark and they're nowhere to be found, yeah, I'd say you want to rethink your loyalty to them, okay? Um, and people do things like that subtly. Uh, it's not like this big, okay, a million dollars, yeah, I'm your best friend, I'm loyal to you. Oh, you're broke, uh, whatever. It's little things, too. Don't think it's just the big things. It's the little things. So, be very conscious of who you give your loyalty to. Alright? Um, and true loyalty takes years to build. It can take decades, lifetimes, to build that kind of where you're just absolutely loyal to somebody. But trust me when I tell you it can only take seconds to destroy. One stupid, ignorant, bad thing, and you you can ruin a friendship. You can ruin... Um, somebody that was loyal to you, you can just chop it down, burn it down, melt it down, and it's gone that quick. Um, and if you really want to know how to judge um, if somebody is loyal to you or you want to be loyal to them, it's the person that you don't look for somebody to solve all your problems, okay? You look for that person that won't let you face them alone. Some people, I mean, they're, you know, let's, let's just say it bluntly. They're know-it-alls. Uh, they like to control their friends. They expect you to be loyal. Uh, they have an answer to every single thing that's ever, you know, any little problem. Um, but... I think the loyalty there is one-sided. It's the person when you are at the lowest point in your life 
that are and they're still standing there no matter how uncomfortable it is no matter how depressing it is it's the person that's standing right there through all of it through uh through the, the sicknesses and it's the person that's not gagging in the other room uh it's the person holding your hair out of way when you're puking your guts out it's the person that knows every single bad thing about you and they love you unconditionally anyway those are the people that deserve your loyalty and we all know that saying do unto others these are the people that you do unto okay um i've got a good friend and um she's more of a sister than she is anything and she has been with me through the hardest points in my life and i have been there with her and i know i can tell her anything no matter how bad it is and she will still be there 100 percent, my friend and you know and that's in real life now online i have a lot of friends that uh i am loyal to um of course the tryhards i mean um in our in our skype chats and things like that i mean you know uh we we comfort and help each other through just some hard times all the time and that's how you build loyalty uh you know uh, another person that um, you know there's a lot of people just mentioned a couple um, uh, lapis demon uh, Mary uh, awesome and supports I mean it's always there for you know a kind word uh, when I'm writing my poetry and you know and just always picks me up um, taste gaming is another one we have talked and chatted and we have supported each other for a very long time uh, two shot gaming uh, I mean, there there's several that are just you know I could the list could go on, but I am loyal to these people because they are uh, loyal to me, and I mean you know that's when it comes down to it, um, what you have really is your friends, um, because you pick them, and you choose to be loyal to them. And they choose to be loyal to you. You cannot buy. You can buy loyalty, but you're basically getting lip service. You have to earn loyalty, just like you do trust. And I am very, very loyal, especially to uh, Latin Goddess and Zombie Mold, and this server, this brand. I guess if you want to call it Box Populi, um, they have always treated me wonderfully um latin has um done uh, a couple of videos with me i mean you know just uh um they and that's one of my favorite th they're just they're just loyal they're loyal people they're loyal to everybody that comes and plays on here um they're just loyal wonderful great people that, that you know and uh i hope they know how much that i appreciate them individually and Vox Populi as a whole, uh, gold, diamond, and emerald. And um, I will make sure all the links are in the description below, um, so you can come and check them out. And the website, of course, uh, it, this is a great, great community. And trust me, they, uh, they, this family deserves your loyalty. If you decide to uh, hop over, tell them I sent you, um, and say hi. Okay, everybody, uh, time for me to get going, wrap, uh, work some more on this. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Any comments, uh, tell me um, what it takes for uh, you to give your loyalty to somebody in the comments below. I always love reading everybody's comments. Um, I'd really like to know. So till next time, this is Mountain Dew Mania, and I am live from uh, my home away from home away from home, Vox Populi Diamond. And I am so out of here. And happy birthday, Jedi Jane. Uh, later, guys.